even though the UFC is regarded as the best MMA promotion with the highest caliber of fighters, there are still plenty of fighters outside the promotion who dominate in their respective divisions. In this video today, we're going to take a look at three more fighters that Dana White and the UFC should sign immediately, and we'll also break down the best debut matchup for each of them. This is DBD Fight Club. Welcome back. country of France has been producing top fighters in MMA. One of the first ones that comes to mind is Saladin Parnas. The 26-year-old fighter from Paris is the current featherweight and lightweight champion of the Polish promotion KSW. He holds a current record of 19-2, and, and since 2019, 8 of his 9 fights have been 5-round title fights. Parnas is another confident fighter who stands square in front of his opponents and clearly has the speed advantage in every bout. His output isn't extremely high in the striking department, but that's because he picks his shots very wisely and doesn't like to expel unnecessary energy. He has a snapping jab and a really clean middle kick that can end the fight with a blink of an eye. Whoa! His strongest weapon is his grappling, as he has tremendous takedowns and is able to control his opponent's back with ease. He has the ability to swarm his opponent on the ground and tire them, and his ridiculous cardio allows him to take his opponents into deep waters. He's got the choke on Marta Leon. That's it, it's all! Parnas recently came up short in a title fight with the welterweight champion Adrian Bartoszynski, in which Parnas was gunning for triple champ status. Following his loss, he then went on to knock out lightweight contender Valerie Merchow and looked amazing at 155 pounds. Oh la la! Let's go! Let me go! Let me go! Sit down! Wow! Moving forward for Parnas, I would like to see him fight at featherweight. While he looks just as good as in lightweight, given his size and reach, I think he would be more dominant at 145 pounds. A move to a top promotion is definitely in his future, and the UFC could use a dynamic fighter just like him. I think a debut matchup with Danny Ige would be the first fight to make, as they both have serious knockout power and are very talented in wrestling and jiu-jitsu. Signing a fighter like Saladin Parnas could light a much needed fire in the middle portion of the featherweight rankings. One of the best heavyweights in the world right now is none other than Anatoly Malikin. The bulldozer of the One Championship promotion has been on a tear over the last few years and is currently the only MMA fighter in history to hold three belts in three separate weight classes simultaneously. And that's when they're not moving at Anatoly is a former freestyle wrestler, but since moving to MMA, he has gone undefeated in eight years and holds a perfect record of 14-0 with a 100% finish rate. He is currently the middleweight, light heavyweight, and heavyweight champion of the Asian promotion one and has knocked out every fighter holding the belt. His rise to fame was surely predictable as his explosive style and heavy hands earned him multiple first round finishes. For a heavyweight, he moves very quickly and has a snapping one-two combination and a very heavy overhand right. Oh, 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 oh. Exceptional wrestling is hard to find amongst a lot of heavyweights, and while Anatoly has really good grappling and submission threats, his best asset is his constant and relentless pressure in the cage. He never seems to let his foot off the gas when pursuing his opponents. Whether it's on the feet or on the ground, Anatoly Malikin's pressure can never be answered properly by his opponents. No, no. There it is. After reviewing many of his fights, Malikin is a natural heavyweight and looks the most comfortable around 230 pounds. Unfortunately, the level of talent in the MMA heavyweight division of one is slim, and I believe the Russian triple champ would actually do very well in the UFC. I think the best debut matchup for Malikin would be against Curtis Blades, as they're both fighters with extensive wrestling backgrounds, but prefer to brawl it out. Whether it stays on the feet or on the ground, this would be a massive test for Malikin, and I believe he is capable of being victorious. Kareem Engeziak is currently the second ranked middleweight contender in the European MMA promotion Octagon. 
The German-born Turkish fighter holds an impressive record of 20 and 4, with 17 wins coming by way of finish. Angeziak has been a popular MMA figure in the Central European region, stacking up wins and collecting belts in domestic promotions, fighting alongside top MMA fighters and boxers in Germany, and has even sparred with two-time UFC champion Alex Poetan Pereira. The Turkish fighter is a standout when it comes to striking, displaying simple techniques and combinations to beat up the body of his opponents. His kickboxing is crisp, and he has tremendous knockout power in both his hands and legs. Despite being an orthodox fighter, Angeziak likes to throw a heavy rear middle kick from southpaw that cripples his opponent's body to the ground. Angeziak is an intimidating force in the cage and knows how to control a fight, but sometimes he likes to draw his opponents in to force a mistake. <laughs> and once he sees an opportunity, he packs a heavy counter right hook to punish his opponents. The European continent has been producing MMA superstars left and right, and Karim Angeziak has the potential to be one of them. Despite his impressive knockouts and win streak, I believe he's due for a step up in competition, and I see a move to a top MMA promotion like the UFC in his near future. For a debut matchup, I would like to see Angeziak fight Gregory Robocop Rodriguez. The Brazilian middleweight has some serious power and a similar style and finish rate as Angeziak. He's gone 6-2 in the UFC and 5 out of those 6 wins have come by way of knockout. I believe this fight has the potential to be a fight of the night contender and a perfect matchup for both fighters to showcase their skills. This would be a very entertaining fight and could potentially be the first step to UFC stardom for Kareem Angeziak. What do you guys think about the three fighters mentioned in this video? Who else do you think should be featured in the next one? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. This is DBD Fight Club, and we'll see you next time.